Asteroids Asteroids are chunks of rock orbiting the sun. They are materials left over after the formation of the solar system. They can be of any shape, ranging from irregular pieces of rock to almost spherical dwarf planets. Most asteroids are not spherical because they lack the gravity to pull themselves into a ball shape. Some of them have been pulled into the orbits of planets. This graph displays the concentration of an asteroid family. This is the circumstellar disk in the solar system located roughly between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. This is the main belt distinguished from near-Earth asteroids, NEAs and Trojan asteroids. NEAs circle closer to the Earth than the Sun. It is estimated there are roughly 10,000 NEAs. The Hilda family orbit between 3.5 to 4.2 astronomical units and relatively circular orbits and a stable orbital resonance with Jupiter. And here lies the Greek family. Asteroids lie within three regions of, of the solar system. The main asteroid belt holds more than 200 asteroids larger than 60 miles in diameter. Based on composition, asteroids can be classified into three main types. The C type are grayish in color and make up 75% of known asteroids. The S type are reddish or greenish and account for about 17% of asteroids. They are present mostly in the inner asteroid belt. The M type or metallic reddish ones are present in the middle region of the asteroid belt. There are also other types like V type which have a ballistic volcanic crust. Asteroids come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Some are solid bodies while others are small piles of rubber bound together by gravity. One comes with its own set of rings. Another has six tails. One asteroid even has its own moon. Due to their limited gravity, asteroids cannot hold an atmosphere, but some asteroids are big enough to pull themselves into a ball shape and some can even hold an atmosphere. Such asteroids are classified as dwarf planets. Asteroids also contain precious resources such as coal, metals, etc. and some even contain water trapped in minerals. Mining these resources from asteroids can give us a huge advantage and can also keep us going even after all resources on the earth have been exhausted. Resources that can be obtained from asteroids The resources of the C-type asteroids contain water, minerals and organic compounds. They can be used for rocket propellant fuels and other consumables for space missions and making rubber plastic or methane for rocket fuel or carbon dioxide for plants. The S-type asteroids can be mined to reveal useful metals such as iron and platinum. They can also provide traces of silicates. The M-type platinum group metals can be used in manufacturing large hardware items in space for colonization or large space missions and also for sale on the earth. This is a pie chart of the masses of asteroids, namely Ceres, Vesta, Pallas, Hyja, Euphrosyne, Interamnia and others. The biggest asteroid in the belt is Ceres. It is the size of the whole of Texas. Now let us see some videos on asteroids. When asteroids make through the Earth's atmosphere and crash onto the surface, they are called meteorites. The most dangerous meteorites capable of global disaster would raise enough dust into the atmosphere to bring about a nuclear winter, severely disrupting life in the Earth. Sm sm smaller asteroids could destroy a city or cause devastating tsunamis. Ironically, that the collisions that could mean death for humans or the extinction of dinosaurs are the reason we are alive today. When the Earth was forged from the Sun, it had no water. Meteorites from outer space brought water and life to the Earth. Meteorites have hit the Earth in the past and more will crash into our planet in the future, but we have to be ready. With developed technologies, we can either explore the object or divert its motion. Let's make everybody aware of these facts and contribute for mankind and for Mother Earth. Thank you for watching.